All right, hey guys, I'm back with another tour of the system. I'm not doing a system test. Um, I'm gonna go over some of the um, stuff about the fire system. I'm gonna show you guys the panel zones, the NACs, and where they all sit in the panel. If you haven't noticed, um, I got a new camera. I have the um, Sony HD action cam. So far, I love this thing. Alright, so let's open the panel up. I'm going to show you each zone and where they all sit on the panel. Each zone and knack where they all sit on the panel. Like, and also the relays. The relays and knacks. And here are the zones. The zones, <clears throat> that's power. And we have trouble on it right now. Uh, NAC 1 uh, had a wire break, so I gotta, I gotta fix that. I'm getting the system ready for System Test 9 here tomorrow. Alright, so let's begin. Now, if we open the panel door, and look right here you can see until I get this uh, until I get that working correctly um, this is gonna show where everything is and a I put that there because I don't have anything hooked in there yet zone 3 is a supervisory which here's zone 3 connects it up bottom uh, key station and I have not yet fixed the um, that LED fault yet. Yeah, see that one's on still. That's on, and that one's on. Well, if you're wondering what that is on my phone, I'm able to view the camera on my phone. All right, so let's begin with zone three. Oh, sorry, I already said zone three. Zone four is the panel station. Which, here's zone 4, it's the second cable running over here with all this big bundle of cable. Um, it goes to the BG-12L, which is right over here. Yep, that's the BG-12L. Sorry if, um, if my recording's not that great, I'm still getting used to how this camera functions. Alright, and so smoke detector, zone 5. Yeah, here, here's a smoke detector. Hold on one second, I'm, I'm so sorry. Here's a smoke detector, zone 5. And zone 5 is right over here. It's the third cable. Goes to that I3. And which also runs to that I3. Which, let me show you how. It's gonna put the panel into trouble because of that. How that's wired. See how the panel went into trouble. Let me disable that trouble. Can't show the code. I, I'm a, oh, I need that open. I, I have my window open. It's cold out for once in Florida. Alright, so. My the zone six the desk pull station is the one two three f uh, fourth cable, which is right right in this area, which it goes all the way to that right there. I mean, like when I had my desk the other way. The pull, I will see the pull station on this piece of my desk. And so now, if I need to, what I was going to do is um, I was going to put the enunciator right over here, but I try to fit it because of the BG12L being here and, and the other pull station I put here, it won't fit because it kind of is not long enough for me to fit it there. Alright, so. 
Let's go on to the next zone. Simplex key station, which is the top one. That's not wired yet. Well, it is wired. I just don't have it. I just don't have it fully uh, wired in with the panel correctly yet. It's the top one. And the next pole station is the entrance pole station, zone eight, which is the very last wired. This one here. And follow the conduit goes to this, the 4250-120. And back at the panel, that's all the wiring for the zones. So let's go to this one right over here, which is the relay, uh, alarm, alarm uh, relay one was just set up as a fire relay so it can communicate with the MS-4. The, um, this relay goes from relay 1, fire relay 1, to zone 4 on the firelight MS-4 control panel. All right, and now, we jump down to NAC 1, that's the main NAC, which connects to the, uh, the, uh, the alarms where the uh, 9252 is right now but that's not going to be in the video that's not going to be in system test 9 unless something else in there and then it also goes to the advance I'm going to have something else in there also yeah the advance the 9252 horse drill alright and let's go to NAC 2 which, if I'm correct, is the L it, yeah I'm, I'm correct. It's the LEDs on the key stations. I'm gonna probably end up moving the LEDs to the second relay and make that a fire relay. I just gotta research where to put uh, where the wiring goes and relay two. Um, I, I I was talking to somebody. I'm I'm not gonna say who it is, but for privacy reasons. Alright, so it'll it'll be this right here. No, it'll be NAC2, which will go right over here. Alright, and NAC3 goes to the uh, goes to the simplex remote strobe. Meaning that when the alarms are going off, this strobe's going off also telling me that when I'm at the panel that there's a fire alarm which this should be this job doing it but they shut off when the alarm goes off they don't stay on or they don't do what they're supposed to do correctly All right, yep so this remote strobe is on NAC 3 and NAC 4 is for when I have a, uh, a strobe play hooked in which sits wire nutted into this uh, double gang box with its NLI resistor in it and the very last two cables, and uh, this cable here goes to the batteries. And I do have a second, I do have one extra resistor. Alright, and so these two cables here, these two, follow the conduit. It goes to the alarm enunciator. So I can keep control of the system if I'm over here. I'm um, sorry about my messy room at the moment. I'm doing a little bit of uh, moving around in my room. All right, and I'm gonna make another video about uh, about I'm um, about programming the system. Um, I just got um, I gotta get the system ready first for system test nine, so I can film it and then get it uploaded to YouTube Monday. Either Sunday the 8th or Monday the 9th of January. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know what you think about my new camera. Have a good day.